Greetings, ladies and mantle gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales from Outer Space. 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 And as always, I hope that you enjoy. Story number one. Why them? Written by underscore sky underscore underscore. Every civilization inevitably has its great individuals. Renowned scientists, generals, spiritual leaders, artists, or otherwise crucial figures. Members of their race who changed how their collective sees the world. However, every race by default also has its idiots. And I am not just talking about mass murderers, hardened criminals, etc. Nor do I wish to insult any individuals who were born with substantially deficient intellect. What I am actually talking about are the members of the civilization who do something so obviously stupid without being able to comprehend exactly how much they will end up screwing everyone else. Case in point, myself. You see, the universe is a rather interesting place, filled with countless life-bearing planets, and thus littered with civilizations native to them. However... Technology and science have their limit. Can you travel faster than light? Well, not by much. Only around 314 times faster. That is the theoretical limit. However, you can communicate instantaneously, so not everything is lost. But the reality being what it is, my species decided to establish universal internet. Literally, a grand project which had noble intentions, allowing communication between every single sapient being in the universe. Who knows, if we put our minds together, maybe we can manage to break the limits of reality, stop the heat death of the universe, rewrite the laws of physics themselves. For billions of years, We've been held back by the cold grip of stagnation. Every device, as good as efficient as possible, no room for any significant progress. If there was any way for us to find a crack in it, it was to unite our best and brightest from every civilization to truly establish universal internet. However... I was an idiot, traveling for millions upon millions of years across the universe can be uh, boring, to say the least, and I was really young, idealistic, when I joined the project. Now, it did not seem as grandiose as before. Naturally, I never imagined that me having a little fun would backfire like that. So, when I came across this primitive uh, humans, instead of opening a proper communication channel, welcoming them to the grand family, etc., I decided to troll them. The primitives still did not have a working fusion reactor. How much help could they possibly be in breaking the reality itself? Their internet, well, really fecking fun, held no revolutionary blueprints. So... There wouldn't be any harm, anyway. My plan proceeded at breakneck pace, slowly scaring them into believing the universe is some horror-ridden place instead of a freaking utopia threat it realistically was. Fabricating stories about apex civilizations, which at first presents itself as welcoming, and gifting the universal internet only to hack, take over, and exterminate unsuspecting prey. Me, myself being the only astonishingly lucky survivor, running for my life, hiding wherever possible. Only now, in hindsight, I can actually see how utterly stupid I was. Also, before I left, I gave them all the data I had on every single piece of technology, feeling a little guilty for trolling them like that in the first place. Yet confident that they would have figured out my little joke long ago before anything serious happened. Even laughing themselves to it once they emerged into a peaceful universe. 
Yeah, it, it turned out that humanity does not share my sense of humor. Not at all. Because of a few dozen thousand years later, while I was visiting some completely other galaxies, the universal internet was screaming about some invaders which had taken over the Milky Way and were ravaging Andromeda. It turns out that when you hit all the end of technology, all of the ships look alike, mostly, as there is often only the single most efficient way to build things or to run your servers of virtual reality, etc. What, in turn, makes countless civilizations look like one. Especially when they all share the universal internet. What, in turn, explained why the humans were attacking everybody. Internet, it connects sapiens, except if they've been trolled the fuck out. You might wonder how it is to be the only one in the galaxy who knows what the feck is going on. Not so good. I'll personally testify to that. Not good at all. Did I come forward and admit my mistake? Tried to stop the shitstorm I caused? <laughs> Hell no! Do you know what happens to individuals responsible for the deaths of quintillion upon quintillions of sapient? No. Well, that virtual reality I mentioned, it can be used for many different sorts of things. Some of them rather unpleasant. Like burning alive while being forced to eat your crap for a few billion years. And then it's just the starter. Plus, uh... Do I really strike you like somebody who is serious and responsible? <laughs> oh, but my conscience, yeah, about that. Well, um, I, I never really had one. My species was strange like that, but uh, remember the whole uh, virtual reality punishment problem? Nah, thanks, but rather not. When others asked, do I know anything about these uh, humans? <laughs> no! Never saw them before. But you did pass through the Milky Way, was right? Uh, yes, but so did many others, and nobody saw them until they struck. And I have no idea why they were hiding this whole time. And I certainly do not know why they think we are evil, and do not even want to try and contact us. Nor why every ship with free universal internet we send them is blown to smithereens. Or um, why they refuse to use it. Who knows? They're strange like that. Savages attacking others without any provocation. We had to unite even more than before. What in turn now truly made us look like one single enemy from the human's perspective. As the war waged across the universe, a really bloody war at that, many wondered why the humans were not peaceful like every other highly advanced civilization. Considering that once the technology was able to satisfy every physical and psychological need of an individual species members, there was no reason for conflict left. Why attack? Fight for resources which are plentiful in the universe and accessible due to FTL technology. Yet the human war machine pushed on and we pushed back. Eons passed and the once peaceful universe had its history rewritten by warfare. Never ending conflict soon turning into the only thing anyone ever remembered. Old AIs replaced by new ones, casualties replaced by a constant stream of reinforcements. I was still alive somehow, due to the fact that I was never a military-grade asset. However, the war brought something unexpected. Progress. Small things at first, but it accumulated. With every single battle fought, every new struggle overcome, somebody came up with an idea or two which seemed promising. War, not peace, fueled the progress. The universe was maybe burning fleets, smashing each other. Entropy 
taking over a bit by bit. But the stagnation existed no more. Machines and weapons deployed soon defied the reality. Trillions of years flew by as they were but mere seconds. Yet, our understanding of reality evolved too. The laws of physics, once seen as infinite and everlasting, were broken, molded to our own world. Time machine being one of them. And that was when my jig was up. The truth about what I had done relieved both the humans and my own civilization. But I was an elegant troll. It had to be done, I claimed. We were trapped in our utopia, forever sleeping, slowly floating towards the death of the universe. Look what happened to the other universes. We now have the technology to see all of them. All of them failed to survive. My voice vigorous. But now, now with the technology and knowledge which defies logic, we have no limits. No mistake too great. Everything wrong can be undone. All the dead can be brought back, their suffering erased forever. Heat death of the universe, nothing more than a story to scare the children. Eternity is ours to do with as we please. Then somebody asked why I chose humans to spark the war. What was so special? What did I see in them that made me think that they could take on the universe? And hold on. Hold on long enough to defeat the entropy itself. I had only one thing to say, because there indeed was a single reason I trolled the humanity in the first place. Humanity! Fuck yeah! My voice roared out. End of story. The algorithm reckons you should be watching this video next, and I recommend that you should be always watching my video. So, click it, click With energy! And yes, clicking that does help the channel. Thank you very much. I just want to give a quick thanks to the tier 5 patrons and channel members. Alithia, Barky, Fudik Yol, Cam Maxwell, Casper Onholtz, White Van 420, Lord Asrakal, Arcalian, and Oakfield.